This is my British city slicker look. This is the Canali Cowboy. I think he looks a little bit like Trace Atkins. <laughs> the producers of American Idol have gone country. British father-son team Nigel and Simon Lithgow have created a new TV talent competition called CMT's Next Superstar. But they promise this is not just idol for country music. It's not, this is not a shiny floor show. This is a get down and dirty show. You know, if we want you to go out to a biker bar, that's where you're going to go. You're not just uh, in Hollywood uh, on a Los Angeles stage. If the concept of a country-specific show sounds familiar, you probably remember Nashville Star. This isn't that either. Again, with Nashville Star, I mean, we looked at possibly suing them because it was too much like American Idol. Uh, this is a completely different show. This is really down and dirty. We change venues every single episode. We have uh, challenges that put the contestants uh, to the test in, like, how they interview on radio. We put them to test how that their marketability, for example. We're taking a look at all these photos. Look how cute everyone is. Their songwriting is a huge key factor in this series, in the different venues they go to. So there's a whole, it's, it's, it's really different. Ten contestants picked from a nationwide search will compete for a record deal. They'll also live together. And the house is really, we, we got it for them to almost give them a little taste of what it's like to be a superstar. It used to be Kenny Chesney's old house. Uh, and it's, it's just a very creative, we call it the music mansion. It's been so doggone long, I kissed a girl and I liked it. Not all TV talent show winners go on to become Carrie Underwood. But if there's a diamond in the rough, eventually it will emerge. Miranda Lambert came in third on Nashville Star in 2003, and Chris Young won in 2006. I think the big thing about any of these programs, whatever the program is, it acts as a springboard. It's a platform for a career. It does not guarantee stardom. That's down to the public. That's down to the records they release. It's down to uh, the public buying those records. Just because the public picks up a telephone to vote for you doesn't mean it's going to buy your record. Caitlin King, The Associated Press, Nashville.